and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with something new for you guys. As you can see, there is a purple player on this map. That's me. Yeah, I didn't get to choose the color. Um, I'm not exactly doing a StarCraft 2 commentary. I might label it as that, depending on how I feel at the time. But this is more of a tutorial video than anything that I've done before. Um, this is a 2v2 that I played with my cousin Carl Fizzle. He's over here. He is the Protoss player. He's actually a pretty good Protoss player. He doesn't get that much... Well, well, he doesn't get very many 1v1 games in. Usually when he's online, he wants to play 2v2 with me. Um, at the time... Um, you know, I don't know where he was ranked at the time. Uh, at the time that I played this, I was still Platinum. I believe I was about 10th or so in Platinum. Um, we're up against Ecstasy and Derek. Um, there, where, well, me and, uh, me and Kyle Fizzle here are Silver League in, in 2v2 right now. You know, we, we talk on Skype, we kind of goof off, so we're not always trying the hardest. Um, so these guys are silver. I didn't feel like an int a formal introduction was all that necessary. Uh, but basically what I'm going to be going over here is some certain aspects of the game that, uh, maybe some people have... Uh, missed, uh, they've forgotten, they don't know how to do properly. Um, as you can see, I am in the lead in Harvesters. There's not really a, a good reason for that to be true. Um, as you can see, I have 14 Harvesters. Everybody else has 13. Um, y you know, there's, there's not, there's never a good reason for somebody to be ahead of you in harvesters and they're Terran, you know what I mean? So t Terran will almost always get the slowest amount of harvesters. That's just how the game works. If you're a Protoss player, you know, you need to be chrono boosting. Um, you need to make sure you're never supply locked. Um, let's look, is, is anybody even close anymore? Uh, looks like me and Cough Fizzle. I'm trying to figure out how I want to say his name because I'll probably be broadcasting a couple more games with him. Um, you know, I'm trying to figure out. There we go. Hey, they cut. Th they caught up and they passed us. Looks like I stopped production here. Oh, see, there we go. This is this is how the numbers really should be. Um, yeah, I stopped producing for quite some time there. Looks like I was trying to save my probe get the other guy's probe. Uh, looks like I am going for three racks right now, mostly because in 2v2, especially in the Silver League, people tend to go for early aggressive builds, and I mean aggressive. Um, it is not uncommon to see a double four gate, a double three racks, a ten pool with a three racks. Y you know what I'm talking about, just early, early units. So I I go for this as a counter to that. Meanwhile, Carfizzle is going up for a uh, two gate and a cybernetic core. He's chrono boosting the warp gate technology. He has done his homework. Meanwhile, our opponent, though, this guy's going for four gate. Yeah, straight off the bat. No question about it. His partner here has just got two racks up now. If he, and he's 27 out of 35, putting all the, no, don't, don't do that, you guys, ever, 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 ever. What he's done here is he's put all his supply depots in the front, and he's done a block off, which is okay, I guess. This kind of block off, I, I would think, would be geared towards a Baneling bust, which, um, you know, Protoss Terran. Neither one of us are going to be going at you with Banelings any time in the near future. Uh, but what this does is it cuts his army off. Meanwhile, I can just take out all the supply depots. How many does he have that aren't on the front? He's got none, right? All his supply is up on the ramp. So if I just stop here, take out all the supply depots, he has no ability to do anything more than that. And it looks like the Protoss player here has stopped making harvesters. Uh, he's ab ab about where you want to be. I think that's good saturation there, uh, but I would still like him to keep making probes so that he can eventually 
get the expansion, and it looks like he's starting to think about the expansion. No, he sent this probe out to do some work. Uh, maybe getting a proxy pylon up. And let me just pause it here. Okay, so they're starting to move out. No. Um, let's do my view here. I have seen the barracks and that's pretty much it. I didn't even see the Cybernetic Core here. Carfizzle, of course, has seen the same. Um, they have seen um, nothing on from either one of us. Uh, he saw a gas, he saw my barracks, he saw a couple pylons, and a gateway. He doesn't know that my, my, you know, he, we've both gone for four gate and three racks. Fortunately, Carfizzle's uh, four gate is a little bit late. So let's po go ahead and unpause this, move it along here. Carfizzle is going for the pylon. No, he's... I don't know what he's doing. But he is... Our opponent, Derek, here is going to be going for the proxy pylon. I assume that this guy is going to be going doing the same on the other side of the map. So here we have a critical juncture of the game. This is going to determine pretty much what happens from now on. Carfizzle has almost no units. His resources are piling up. He needs units. He needs to warp them in ASAP. I see that he's been targeted here by both players, so I'm moving all my army in. I should be able to handle this, but no, it looks like um, I'm getting flanked here. Um, both units decide to focus on my army. Carfizzle's doing what he can. Um, he's still got quite a few minerals and gas, but, you know, the warp gates can only work so fast. Uh, more units constantly being pumped in. That's the beauty of this proxy pylon. It looks like these guys are rallied? No. They're being sent in individually. And instantly, okay. Once again, I'm going to pause it. I'll probably be doing that a lot in this game. So this is where we are now. You know, me and Carfizzle are talking on Skype, and I'm basically asking him, can, well, he's asking me, can you save me? And I'm looking at what I have right now. No. No, I cannot save you. So instead of going in and saving him, which is just a waste of units right now, I'm just going to bunker up. I'm going to get a fourth Rax up, you know, looking at the res- Oh my god, who is that? That is you. You have way too much. What are you doing? Um, I'm just going to let him die. That's, that's my strategy. Um, once he dies, I'll get all his minerals. Uh, as you can see, he's, he's never stopped harvesting. Uh, he wants to get as much as he can. Um, that's what you want to do in a 2v2. Um, we'll get into more aspects of what 1v1 play will be like later on, but right now this is what you do in 2v2. He's gotten me an Observer. I am very thankful for that. Our opponent has gotten an Immortal. I hate Immortals. Oh my gosh, I hate Immortals. Uh, he does have a few Zealots along with a Probe at the Proxy Pylon. That's cool. Uh, as you can see, he has a ton of gas. I believe that he was actually planning to go for Dark Templars. Um, just never got around to, to making them because they really focused him down. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just amassing the, an army. I've got two Marauders in the bunker. That is, that is something that I've experimented with. I like the two Marauders when I know that my opponents are going for something really early on that I, um, that I know is on the ground. Um, if there's really no reason otherwise. Uh, I am going for an expansion here. That is not a good idea. This this Ursadak even shook his head. No, don't do that. So here, I, I, I see that they're going to be going for my base, and here they stupidly move away. No. Uh, Carfizzle sends in his zealots, you know, just kind of a desperate attempt. Once again, we're just having fun. It's 2v2, but um, I do want to show you guys a lot of stuff that does happen in this game. Um, particularly now. Okay, let me pause it once again. So I can see this army thanks to, to Carfizzle's observer there. He's... let's look at the army count. 
I do not have the largest army. In fact, Derek here has the largest army. He's even in a second proxy pylon. That's how that because he's supply locked. He still never he still never went for the expansion. He's a little bit oversaturated here. He needs the expansion. Neither has his opponent. And he definitely has the minerals for it. When you have this kind of map control, you need the expansion. There's absolutely no reason for you not to get it. Okay. Looking at the army, once again, I, I don't have the largest army. I do have a larger army than the red player, Axis E, but I don't have a larger army than Derek. Considering that they are together, there's absolutely no reason for me to hold off any sort of push here. You just need to put all your units together and basically just steamroll me. Uh, focus on the bunker, I guess. You know, that's pretty much it. Everything else should be pretty standard. Okay, let's go. Oh, but he spots Carfizzle's Observer and takes it out, so I will no longer be able to spot that. And he comes up and he loses two Marauders. Why did you lose two Marauders like that? So I'm selectively stimming here, just on the ones that get shots in. He is going for the bunker, sort of. Um, <laughs> This guy stims up everybody, even though they're not getting any shots rough right now. And they fall back. Look at the army count now. I'm almost ahead of... Well, I'm ahead of both of them, but I'm not ahead of them put together. If they had put all their units up front, I would be dead right now. Uh, they're just now getting expansions. Um, it is... Once again, too late. I have mine up. That's how late it is. I'm moving down so I can secure a transfer here. Uh, because I am completely oversaturated, I do secure the transfer. Going to make that happen. You don't want to do that without knowing exactly what's going on down here. And meanwhile, I am just going for a planetary fortress and marines and marauders. That is it. I'm 96 out of 102. A few of my units did die. But I have this huge ball here. And here, I can see the Immortals. So I know that they can see me. So I'm just going to move in. While the Immortals are out of position, I'm going to focus them down. Those things are incredibly expensive. Do not leave them in the front of your army. It'd be the same as if I led with siege tanks. It's just not a smart idea. So here, I have actually fended them off. I've I've secured my own expansion. Carfizzle runs in with his ulti probe, uh, kind of begging me for for minerals at this point. But I I just I don't really have enough to give him. As you can see, I just have enough for a command center myself. I don't really feel comfortable um, going for any uh, you know giving that off to him. So sorry. Sorry, dude. Uh, so I'm going for a counter here because I'm so absolutely shocked that I won that battle. As you can see, I, I have no upgrades on these guys. Um, but then again, neither do they. So once again, I'm moving in. I obviously have the smaller armor here. As you can easily imagine, two versus one, I just can't handle it by myself. And as you can see, I... You know, I'm up there on the year's loss count. Uh, this guy, he is doing the best. Axis E, he is doing good job right now. Uh, he forgot about all these guys down here. Um, but yeah, the... What's going... Where are all your SCVs? How many do you have? You only have 35. I have 40. You're supposed to have so much more than I do by now. You should be thinking about getting your third base because you know that I am down to just one person. It's 2v1. There's no reason for me to be in this game. But looking at production, it doesn't look like they're really going for much of... Well, the... What are you doing? You're not doing... The Nexus is almost full on energy. He's not getting anything out of the warp gates. He needs to be doing that at all times. He is getting an immortal. It looks like... Oh, he's got two immortals, so... He's got double robotics facility going for immortals. He's got five gate up and not using them at all. Um, he is low on minerals. That's because he just now transferred his probes, and he's not even... He's only making it out of one. You need to make the probes out of both 
Nexuses. I think it's Nexuses. It could be Nexi for all I know. Um, so, finally, another transfer. M too large of a transfer, to be honest with you. Yeah. 24 SCVs and 4 mules. That is too large of a transfer. Um, these are really low, though, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but really he needs to be going for an expansion, and there he goes for it. But look at my production line. I'm going for a s two starports and armory, a command center. Um, I'm going for my third base. This guy is ahead, and he's not. He's actually queued up probes all the along here. These probes, meanwhile, have nothing to do. He's not making any probes here. Queue him up to go here. Just set the rally point there. Move them over. Get your third base. Your opponent, or your teammate kind of took your side, so, you know, take this one over here. Maybe even this one up here. Uh, your opponent, by your my opponent, you know, still hasn't figured out that there is stuff there. Yeah, <laughs> me and my friend were still kind of goofing off. Um, so, he attacked my Marauder, as you can see, 109. So I just destroyed his probe. So this is all he's got left in the game. Um, if they do find that and destroy it, I will get the remaining 148 gas. He did give me all his his gas, or sorry, 148 uh, minerals. He gave me all his gas. As you can see, I've got quite a lot here. Uh, looking at the army count here, I have the, well, the second lowest army. I have the middle army here, and considering that this army is put together this is a team against me I there's no reason for me them not to come in and just absolutely steamroll me except that I do have upgrades one one these guys are all zero 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 across the board he forgot that he got the third expansion he's too busy trying to maneuver his Marines here around what oh man Meanwhile, I'm starting to, to figure out what to do with my gas. Um, still, uh, you know, I'm completely mined out here. 150 minerals there. I don't really care about that right now. I'm trying to focus on these two planetary fortresses down here, along with my army. Um, where are my siege tanks? Why don't I have siege tanks? Even, even looking back here, there's still stuff I could do to improve. Nobody's ever perfect. Um, but there's no reason for, at uh, 21 minutes, how soon did they destroy my, my teammate? And I'm still in this? I'm going for cloaking field? <laughs> oh, where am I, where am I getting that? I'm getting that out of the tech lab on the starport, so we should be seeing banshees, apparently. Uh, meanwhile, I am going for medevacs. There's my first siege tank all in the way, just now. Uh, one thing you guys can do, I've noticed these guys have... Um, let me just pause it because uh, there's a couple things I want to go over here. Um, if you, there there should be a button in the top right here that gives your uh, your ally control over your army. Um, they have been mismicroing this entire game because they are not synced up. Um, as you can see, he's just now going for his third base. Um, Derek is. Uh, still no real saturation at the third, even though it was made a long time ago. It looks like there's a transfer somewhere. Nope, nope. This this is this is what he stuck with. Um, so right now, if this was a one versus one game, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six base against three. There's no once again. There's no reason for me to be th in this, but I'm almost max in supply. Looking at the army county again. So is the Terran player on the other side, but the difference is he has not been getting upgrades, and he's got a lot of minerals and a lot of gas left over. He's actually got all the supply that he'll ever need. That's 200. Unt unless I go in and start destroying stuff, he is maxed out. But his teammate is only at 108. Why is that? Because he's pretty much stopped making probes. I mean, look at the income here. 51 for me, 44 for them, 
44 and 39 for them. 